This oh, conference will now be recorded. So here we go. Um, so this morning, everybody, uh, there's there's a couple of things I'm going to go over really fast, but then I'm going to get really deep into uh, what we were talking about last week because I, I think it's extremely important. You know, one of the things that um, I'm doing with with my business is is hyper focusing. Okay. So my business has been for, for some time setting up businesses, uh, corporations, you know, all that good stuff, doing all that for people um, and doing CPNs, credit profile, credit privacy numbers. But what I'm um, extremely focused on now or hyper-focused on is more of the business building portion of my business and um, the information sales. And so, I, I tapped onto it just a little bit last week, and this week we're going to just dive real deep into the whole, um, uh, you know, getting something started and some of the easiest ways that I personally know of uh, in order for you to get started doing something. So, information sales is a huge part of my business, and I have. Um, sold various uh, ebooks, right? Um, and I have made anywhere from thirty dollars or so on an ebook, all the way up to three thousand dollars. So the three thousand dollars was my um, the uh, CPN course, where I where I would teach people how to build and develop. Um, their own CPN business, and so I would sell that that course for three thousand dollars. And what's really important to understand is that the vast majority of that course had everything to do with information that I actually obtained from somewhere else, revamped it, and then sold it. And and I want you guys to understand that you guys can do that exact same thing. If there's no magic to any of this stuff. Zero, nada. Um, what, one of the things I want you guys to do is to look up a young lady on Instagram. She calls herself the Six Figure Chick. And uh, she's awesome. Um, this young lady, I am a very slow typist for those of you who are watching me um, type it online. So, let me see if I can find her. Six figure chip. I think this is her. So, uh, is this the right person? I, I'm not sure. So, let me just tell you this. There's a young lady on um, Instagram, and purportedly, she has made uh, $2 million over the last three years, right? And when the way she's done that, is by selling ebooks and what she refers to as master courses. I want you guys to understand something. You know, everything that I do uh, is is basically selling an ebook. When it comes to the uh, the whole selling CPN business, really, I'm selling people an ebook. I sell people an, an ebook on on uh, credit building and Six figure chick. Let me see if this is the other one. Um, I sell people ebooks on credit building, and when I do that, what ends up happening is they subsequently get a CPN to go with that for free, right? And so I'm constantly selling ebooks, and I sell those for 150 bucks a pop. And, and so I, I want you to understand, you know, product sales are awesome because you know I've done that as well, but I really want you to see that the, there's a lot of profit in selling material and also with selling material like for instance um, i don't tell a lot of people this but you know my cost for selling a 150 dollar um credit building program is less than 10 bucks because really the cost of once you have a, a, a an ebook put together that's it all you're doing is subsequently mailing from that point out you're not doing anything special. You're just simply mailing 
a product out to people and then the cost, my actual cost is, is the number that they're getting. But I've made, you know, $140 approximately um, from the sale of that product. And even with my larger programs, you know, they get me as a coach, right? Just, you know, which is hugely valuable, obviously, right? Because I know my stuff. But the vast majority of people that are really into it, they really don't need as much coaching. So the, the profit for me becomes huger and huger and huger, larger, because it's exponential growth at that point. And so I want you to understand that every time I sell one of my $5,000 programs, my, my credit building program, when people get that information, those eBooks and those subsequent videos, then they're so, in, they're so detailed that it gives them what they need in order to uh, do what they have to do to, to build their, their personal credit, their corporate credit, and their business credit. It, there's, there's no magic to any of this stuff. And so with the young lady, the six-figure chick, and I don't think this is the right person that, that we have in front of us, but um, I'll have to find that and give it to you guys. But the thing is, is that this young lady, you know, at, at $2 million over the course of uh, two years, two, uh, two or three years, is, is phenomenally awesome. And I believe that you all, any of us realistically, and maybe not $2 million, but you can make some money in this, in this arena, in this avenue. And I, I just want you guys to, to keep that in mind. You can make some money by starting a business where you're selling something that you have interest in. That's it. Find something, I don't care what it is. Are you, are you into stock market, you know, stock trading? A lot of people, you know, I talk to, they're into Forex trading, you know, they're into this, they're into that. And I gave you guys last week uh, a place that you could go. And the place was, let me get out of some of these uh, screens here. The place that you could go was, was um, uh, you know, JV Zoo, right? And then if, if not JV Zoo, um, there's ClickBank. You can go to these places. And honestly, you can look through their programs and you can just do affiliate with them or you can buy their program yourself and revamp it and then create it, you know, or make it your own. And it's really not that hard to do. Um, I, I think I've showed you guys some of the stuff that uh, I've had done on Fiverr. Let me see if I can just get into Fiverr without actually having to log in. I want you guys to really see this stuff because it's just so simple. You take, basically, there's because there's nothing new under the sun. So you can take what, what um, uh, other people have done. You have to make it your own. You can't just duplicate their stuff. But uh, once you read it, understand it, rewrite it, make it your own, then you have the ability to take that information and just simply resell it. It's just that simple. There's no magic to this stuff. I mean, I have been doing that forever and I make money doing that. So on, on Fiverr here, this is something I, I was looking up because I'm gonna have some work done mm. as I told you all, but I got you, you gotta get this, you gotta get this. Because honestly, by Christmas, you could realistically start doing your own thing. You could start, um, I mean, by Christmas, realistically, if you put your mind to this, I promise you guys, you know, you can make a few thousand dollars extra. It, it's just that simple. You know, I've been, I've been very remiss in doing it. You know, I, I, I push here and there, but I don't push as often as I really should be pushing. I, I just don't. And I, I really need to because the, because of the simple simplicity of it all. If you want, um, there are plenty of people that can help you with marketing. As a matter of fact, 
there are a couple of different places that I have found out. Now, I'm going to tell you, I haven't used them, but um, there are a couple of different places that I'm going to list in this, in this uh, uh, webinar, if you will, where you can go and simply uh, utilize these college students to help you with your um, marketing. Okay, at very discounted prices. Um, you can also find places um, like going directly to Facebook, and Facebook has programs where they'll help you with your marketing. And and so I, you know, I get emails from Facebook on a semi-regular basis. And the thing is, is is Facebook, eh, I haven't done well with that, and I'm gonna be honest with you. But with um, uh, Instagram, which you have to go through Facebook to do marketing on Instagram. You have to create a platform, your, your marketing platform on Facebook, and then you can do Instagram marketing. But I'm just saying to you, once you know, once you get started, Instagram is probably going to be where you're going to generate a shitload of clients and also really make this pop. Instagram is proving to be the, you know, the new marketing platform. Everybody that's marketing and, and you know it's proclaiming to do well, they're they're killing it on Instagram and they're killing it on YouTube. That's that seems to be the, the, the place in the space. So let me go here really fast. Um for those who you who are online or actually in the computer, you can see my screen and let me go here to uh, my orders. And I just want to show you guys some of the stuff that I've had done. Um, let me go to my orders real quick, which I just did actually. And let me see if I can still pull up the uh, the last book cover that I had done. And as you can see, the, it cost me 17 bucks to do a book cover. I mean, th that's just dirt cheap, y'all. It's just ridiculous to me. So here is the last ebook cover that I had done. You can see it. It just says um, simple six figure eBay business, how to buy and sell and profit on eBay um, by R. Jackson at the bottom. It is a very clean, very nice looking book cover. And I can take that ebook that I had K um, create for me. Some of you already got it. But I can have this ebook, I can take this ebook and I can sell it, you know, for anywhere between, um, if I want to go on the low end, $9 and some change, just to, you know, start collecting email addresses. Or I can sell it for maybe $27, $37. Now, online, that's one thing you want to understand is that, that seven, eights, and nines uh, do best in that order. A lot of people will. Uh, offline, you'll see $9.99, um, you know, things like that. But online, for some reason, it's been tested over and over and over by those who know a lot more than I do that the sevens, so like like 97s, 47s, 37s, 27s, you know, $7.99, uh, you know, $17, those figures tend to work the best online for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, but it's been proven over and over. But here, look at this beautiful book cover. Once again, this book cover cost me 17 bucks. And let me show you something else really fast. On Fiverr here, okay, you can actually have people do more than create a book cover for you. If you want someone to write for you, you just go in the, uh, in the search queue and you just put in writer and um you, you know you'll pump you'll uh, i'm sorry you'll get some writers there's there's a, a wealth of information out here for you to be able to create your own little ebooks your own little programs i don't give a crap you know what your what your desires are right it's just like magic y'all it's just you can make it happen and this is this is the juice of it all so last Christmas, or, or four months or five months before Christmas last year, 
um, my niece had written a, a little short ebook. I think the thing is um, 15 pages long. And I sent out an email to my list. And when I sent out that email to my list, I think I sold, it was right under $400 worth of that ebook. Just from one email, because I didn't even bother you know, sending it out multiple times. I think I, sent, I emailed it out once, possibly twice uh, the next day or something. And, and I was able to generate you know, between three and $400. And, and it was just like a little simple ebook. And I just came here to, to Fiverr and I spent probably $10 on that book cover because it was really basic. And boom, that's it. And for those of you who are a little bit more technical, you can uh, go to Canva. And on Canva, they have um, a different um, program um, uh, where you can just create your own ebooks for you guys who, who want to do that, right? So you, for those of you who want to design your own ebooks, your own uh, you know pages within your ebook, Canva is, is there for you. So I, I'm telling you guys all this because within my business, I'm, I'm telling you I'm hyper-focused in one arena now. I don't even market in the CPN business anymore, even though that is a hundred plus thousand dollar a year business for me. I stopped marketing in that business because honestly, what I'm doing now, which is the uh, coaching and development and information sales, has so much greater of a potential. And you know, for me personally, everybody has their own get down, everybody has their own thing and that's fine. But for me, it's so much greater in this particular arena, in this avenue. So I want to move forward in that. And, and in order to do that, I need to do these things that I'm showing you. Nothing different, nothing different. If, if I was watching um, a video by Pat Flynn and he was talking about over the last um, 10 years, I'm gonna say eight years, cause I'm, I'm not really sure. You know that that just in affiliate marketing, he's done about five million dollars, and then you know other monies in his programs, uh, and then he's made even more money now doing speaking and so on and so forth. So, but I, you know, I mean that's that's not bad, y'all. That's you know you're you're getting hundreds of thousands of dollars per year, um, doing something that you enjoy doing is really awesome, and the. Thing that I, I keep on coming up with over and over and over and over again is that people will constantly and continuously buy information. It's just that simple. It, I, I, for the last two decades, you know, people have been buying information from me. Uh, and, and I'm just telling you that if you have some sort of knowledge base, okay, start selling it. If you have the ability to read and, and you have something that you like doing, buy somebody else's information, you know, learn it, run through it one good time, rewrite it, and, and then subsequently um, put it out there. And let's just say that, that you don't want to, uh, um, you know, rewrite the thing. Well, there's, there's other places out there. Let me go to iWriter real quick. And you can find, um, give me one second. So you can go to iWriter.com. And at iWriter.com, pick whatever you want topic wise. And there are people on iWriter that will write an entire book for you. That's, I mean, I don't know how else, you know. Uh, how how much simpler I can make it for you. iWriter.com, they'll create an entire book for you. Just that simple. You can even have them, there are people on here that will take dictation. So let's say that you have your own thought process or, um, or you have a skill set and you want to be able to, to sell that skill set to someone else, which means that you're going to um, compile it into, into information um, into usable information, and then subsequently 
uh, turn it into a program or an ebook? Well, you can literally just go to um, a site like Audacity. And when you go to Audacity, which is a, uh, an auto program, which will record everything you say on your computer, record whatever your thought process is. If you, can, if you want to create a whole book, you can just do that with Audacity. There's another one called GarageBand. They're both the same thing, softwares that you can download on your computer. I believe you can even put them on your cell phone in an app. And you can just start talking. If you want to create a book, just start talking. And as you talk, it's going to record. And then you take those recordings and you just turn them over to someone on iWriter, which is right here. Uh, I've pulled up for those of you who are online. Boom, you're done. I mean, dude, how much easier can I make it for you? Serious biz. So there, there's just all these people that you see that are making all this money. You know, this is all that they're doing. They're finding, you know, it might be a different platform than iWriter. It might be a different platform than, than Fiverr where they're having, because there's a, there's a lot of platforms like Fiverr. There's a lot of platforms like iWriter. Um, there's a lot of platforms like Canva, but I'm just giving you these. If you don't want to use these, you can literally just go to Google and put in um, sites like iWriter, sites like Fiverr, sites like, you know, uh, whatever. And it'll come up. You'll get a whole slew of places that you can try and that will work for you. You know, so you guys, I, I need everyone to start doing something. You know, you come on this call, you listen to me, you listen to me talk. You know, some of you take down notes you, because I, I know this because you tell me this stuff. You're taking down notes, but what are you actually doing with the information that I'm giving you? It's, it's actually kind of, it's fruitless, right? If you're not actually doing something with, with this golden information that I'm giving you, you know, you're, you're literally shooting yourself in the foot, right? Because there's no guarantee that I'm going to be doing this forever. I mean, I have every plan truly on doing this on a continuous basis because as I mentioned to you all before, I will use all these recordings to build my business. But if I'm giving out all this gold, all this juice to you, you guys really need to start, you know, pushing forward. It doesn't matter what your business is. It literally does not matter what your business is. If you have a, 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 a want, a desire, you know, to, to create any type of business, you can do that. You know, but getting the money, is, it's just, oh my God, it's not really that hard. It's, it's a matter of getting your personal credit right, which you need to do anyway. And then subsequently, going after the money, which I've already taught you all. And if you don't remember what I've taught you, you need to go uh, to YouTube and go watch some of the older videos where I've literally explained to you all how to go through the process of creating, creating money. But one of the most important things about going out and creating money so you don't make the mistakes that I've made in the past is you want to you know, create the money, I mean loans and credit cards and so on and so forth, but you want to have a way to pay that money off. So what I suggest to all of you is what is your passion? I know everybody or not everybody, the vast majority of people that come on these calls can't speak up because they are at work and they're listening and so on and so forth. But I'm telling you guys right here, right now, start taking this the information I'm giving you and start your business today. That has to happen. That has to happen. You've got to start your business right here, right now. Whatever your 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 passion is, start it. There's a plethora, a, a, a multitude of ways that you can start your business. You know, and if you don't have any money right now, your credit screwed up. Well, that's even more reason to start your business. You know, people think in reverse. They think, oh my God, you know, I'm gonna, you know, wait until this happens to start my business. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until I get some money. I'm gonna you know, no, you can't do that. You got to start now. You start now and doors start opening for you. I'm telling you that's the way it works. You know, I, I, I jumped my beautiful self on the scale this morning and I am four pounds less, four, 4.7 pounds less than what I was a week ago, right? And the reason being is because I made a decision 
to start jogging my big sexy self around the park. And I am now jogging much further than I had jogged, I can't, in years and years, right? Uh, every Monday I seem to push a little bit further, which is an awesome thing. And what I'm trying to get across to you all is that if you don't start, if you don't start now, right here today, then when will you? You're, you're just, you're, you're coming on these calls for absolutely no reason. You're, you're, you know, I love the fact that you guys are coming on these calls, but you're not doing yourself any service. So let me get back to this. The thing is, is that I want you guys to start with the least amount of friction in getting your business started. So let's say that you're in the, I don't know, you're, you're an accountant or something of that nature, right? Well, then, then you should have some insight into what accountants want or need. And you, being an accountant, should say to yourself, well, what service can I provide, if this is what you're looking for, you know, to provide to other accounts? What service can I provide to other accountants? And then subsequently, creating your videos or your eBooks directly to them and sell to them. There are plenty of people that they're, they're in a specific field, something, I mean, just the most, um, you know, not, not regular fields like engineers and all this other stuff. And, and they're, they have a community. As an accountant, you know where and how to reach out to other accountants, right? You know, so what is it that those accountants need? That should be a, something you should think about for your business, is providing a service to your fellow accountants. Potentially, um, doing something as simple as, this is, another, this is another very powerful business platform. If you are in a city and you go out and you set up a targeted market website. You can go all day long to GoDaddy. You go to GoDaddy, you buy a domain name. You know, a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, GoDaddy doesn't use this algorithm anymore. Um, but that's, that's, that's true to an extent, but it's not completely true. So this is another avenue that you can utilize to start generating some money. So you just simply go to GoDaddy, and let's say that you're in, I don't know, um, Minneapolis, right? And so what you're gonna wanna do is just buy, you know, um, a, a domain that reflects accountants in Minneapolis. And then as a, as a business offer, what you can do is you start promoting that, that website and then go around to different accountants and you just sell them spots on your website. And then what you would put on your website is an ebook of some sort that you could sell to people that just simply says to, you know, to the general public that comes to that website. And you can just simply say, hey, look, uh, you know, the seven steps to, to, to getting a, a qualified account. So two things are happening here. A, you're, you're, you have these people on your website, so obviously they're qualified. Do you get the psychological um, play behind this? And then you're giving out a, an, an ebook for free or for a few dollars to those individuals who want it. And what is this also doing for you? If you do it right, when you go to a site like um, uh, Aweber, which is who I use, but, but you don't have to use Aweber, you can use GoDaddy's uh, email service themselves. You can um, use, I don't know, uh, there's a plenty of, of, of uh, email services out there. But Constant Contact is another, but I, Aweber is who I use, and I've used them for a long time, and I also use GoDaddy. But my point is, is that these, these little websites that you can set up, you buy a domain name from GoDaddy, and when you buy the name from GoDaddy, then you can subsequently um, go to their website tonight, um, platform and when you go to website tonight you can literally put up your own website or if you wanted a, a nicer website you can pay me and I can have your website put up for you 
but it's just none of the stuff is difficult and I want you guys to start something right here right now and even if you don't want to you know offer um, space on your website for somebody else if you're an accountant in Minneapolis you need to go buy the domain name uh, that that you know talks about being an accountant in Minneapolis right so um, you know Minneapolis accounting service you know that that's a that's a powerful domain does that make sense to you guys I hope so you're gonna you're obviously because you want a domain name to be searched in the manner in which people will search it so let's just say that you're not sure then you can you know what people are searching for then you can actually um, go to I know I'm cramming a lot in here you guys but we only have an hour and I want you guys to, to learn as much as possible. And you can always watch the replay on this. So go, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Google has a crap load of tools. And so you can simply go to Google and go to, go to their tools section and you can literally find out exactly what people are searching for in your, in your, in your area or you know just generally just you know across the country if you want so just go to you know uh, Google's keyword tools boom and with Google's keyword tools you can just find out what people are searching for especially in your specific arena if if you once again are an accountant and buy that keyword and the keyword is is what people are searching for buy that keyword as your domain name does that make sense so if people in your area that are searching for accountants their their number one search is accountants in minneapolis then you need to buy that domain name accountants in minneapolis.com does that make sense to you guys whatever it is that you do you need to get the domain name that reflects that so you know some people refer there's a lot of different names for this but you know um, targeted sites right um, they used to call it um, uh, sniper sites and the reason being is because you're, you're putting a target directly on your client so there are people that make a crap load of money that do nothing let's say they're in Minneapolis again I'll use that example and they do nothing but create websites for dentists in their area, accountants in their area, um, uh, pick something, you know, uh, a doctor, dentist, um, orthodontist, and they will buy the most searched domain in that area, in that specific arena of theirs, and they will create websites for each one of those domain names, you know? so. If the top search phrase is Minneapolis um, orthodontist, then that's what they'll search. I mean, you know, that's the domain that they'll buy. They'll buy uh, Minneapolis orthodontist because that's the top search for that area. Does that make sense to you guys? And so they'll create these sniper sites for all these different professions. And then they'll once they get the um, the ratings, right, for those, what they'll do is they'll go around and they'll say, hey, look, you know, we're getting, you know, 500 vid visitors a week to this website. You know, how would you like to pay me uh, to be on that website? I'm going to charge you, you know, I don't know, $500 or $1,000 per month. And then you can have even secondaries and third, because we all know in the in the search world, the top position always makes the most money. But there are a lot of people that don't mind being second because first place, you know, for Minneapolis orthodontists might not have space for an appointment time. So why wouldn't you pay $500, you know, a month or a week or whatever the case may be, depending on the size of the city and the volume of uh, how many people are coming up to that website? Why wouldn't you do that? So this is another avenue that you guys can utilize to start generating some kind of capital, creating sniper sites. It's just that simple. I have, whether people realize it or not, even in my um, 
CPM business, I have a crap load of different CPN websites. They all have the same phone number, but they, they're all pretty much the, the same thing. So, you know, I have um, new CPN. Oh my God, I, I think I have like, like 10 different um, domain names that, you know, new CPNs, um, credit profile numbers, new credit profile numbers, uh, just on and on and on, you know. I have I have like 130, I believe, uh, domain names, something of that nature. But you know, I targeted that business in a lot of different ways, and I have those go to, um, you know, two three different websites because the websites don't have to be different. But I wanted to target as many names because what happens is people will search for a specific thing. And I want them coming to my websites. You know, when they do that search, Google will give you some love, uh, Bing will give you some love, and so on and so forth. Because I get people that call me on my ancillary number, my secondary number, which is the 714-482391 number, and that's how I know that they came to me from one of my other websites. Does that make sense? So the other thing that I, I want you guys, I know I'm going through this really quick. And I'm putting a lot of information out, but I just, you guys got to start something. By Christmas time, I, 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 I want to create a challenge with you guys, right? That, that between now and I will call it December 31st, that you guys create some sort of business or empower the business that you currently have to generate $5,000. I think you can do it. I, I just, I know you can do it. I have, I have every confidence in the world in you. You don't have to spend a crap load of money, but you are gonna have to spend some money. And you should, because this is your future, not mine. I'm gonna have to spend money on my future to make, make stuff pop and happen. So you're going to have to spend money on your future to make stuff pop and happen. I'm not telling you got to spend a crap load of money. You know, you can get a domain name for, I don't know, uh, 12 bucks, nine bucks if you get it on a special. You can do a website tonight. I, I forgot what it is, but it, it's cheap as crap. So what are you, what are you, you know, missing out on? If you want to, what you should is, is, Created Instagram, your Facebook and your Instagram um, pages, and start making it pop. Let me show you guys something on on um, the power of. Um, let me see here. I'm gonna go to YouTube real quick. And the boop 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 boop. Give me a second here. I am going to YouTube. I'm going to put in, um, let's see, new social. Or, well, how do I have it listed? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I think that's it. Let's see if my video pops up and where it pops up. Okay, I'm checking for, for one of my videos, um, which with this video, what I was doing initially is I was um, utilizing it, telling people how to get a new social. And by telling them how to get a new social, what would happen is they would end up calling me. And when they would call, um, it gave me the opportunity to tell them about um, CPM because they because obviously if they're calling because they wanted a new social they uh, their credit was screwed up right and that because that's the average person that calls um, for on this video is because their credit screwed up so I would say okay well no I can't help you with that you have to call the Social Security Administration for that but what I do is um, we offer CPN which are credit profile numbers they're definitely not social security numbers, but you can use them as you would a social security number to create 
a new credit file. It's like creating a, you know, a, a, a second you as far as credit goes. You know, and so I'd go through my spiel, right? And that has made me money. You got, once again, at $150 a pop, um, this video has been up for a long, long time. And um, I, I just got to tell you, I, I'm, I'm screwing up here. I'm not paying attention. To that. So give me one second, please. If I can. Uh... Ah, what am I doing? What's the door? I put two, two, but it, it came up. So let me go in here real quick and see. Give me one second. I'm, I'm just not paying attention. Um, I have like 15 thoughts in my head at one time because I want to go. I want you guys to just get this. I want you guys to to understand this that that there's so much money out here. I, I kid you not. When I was driving um, the coast yesterday, and I saw I saw people taking brand new homes, tearing them down, and building something more palatial. Right? I mean, seriously, is is that is that like like the most awesome, most ridiculous thing ever? Is that there? People have enough money out here that they can literally tear a property down, and when they tear that property down, they can build something even more palatial. I, I just think it's it's just awesome, and I think that that any of us, any of us, can create that type of financial well-being for ourselves. I'm not going to sit here and lie and tell you that, that you know, I have that type of financial well-being because I don't, but I'm working towards it every day. And I possibly have more financial well-being than most of the people on this phone call. You know, I, I don't really live like I do, but I have access. And access creates, you know, financial well-being. I have access to information, knowledge, and that information and that knowledge allows me to create and manifest wealth. I'm, I'm not going to say wealth. I'm going to say it allows me to create money, right? Um, enough that when I choose to, I can do nice things for people, right? And that's important. When I when I choose to, I can do nice things. I can I can you know I, there was a guy, a homeless guy. You know I didn't want him to get arrested. He was stealing in the grocery store, so I just told him to put back all the crap that he was trying to stuff in his in his pants and wherever else because they were watching him. I mean blatantly watching him. But the dude was hungry, so what I was able to do is I walked up to the dude and I was like, hey man, just put the shit away and um, go to the deli and I'll buy anything you want and so i let him stock up on some daily shit and then i turned around and bought his food for him and gave him an extra 40 dollars because i have created overflow right i mean i'm not saying i have the kind of overflow where i can you know go out and give a thousand dollars out or or what have you but in this in a very small way or in a beginning fashion if you will i've created some overflow where I can afford to give, you know, in this particular instance, like $70 out and not have it affect me. Does that make sense to you guys? And I want that for everybody on this call and beyond. I think that we're entitled to it. I just, I honestly believe that we are entitled to having more. And, and so here are the avenues to create that. You know, I'm in one of my channels, and um, let's see, it, it, there's a crap load of videos in here. So it's taking me a second to find the video that I was talking about, um, which is on social security cards. Oh, there it is. So this, this video currently has 102,000 views over, over a five year period of time. Um, and then I have another one, which is very similar right, um, which has 5,000 views over the same period of time. So what I did was I, there were, there were some people, and I want you guys to do this as well. Go to YouTube, find out whatever your, your thing is that you're into, and then 
see the best title and then mimic those titles. If you don't want to create the video yourself, you don't have to write the script. Go back to Fiverr, right? And there are people on Fiverr that will create the video for you. They have no problem standing in front of um, the camera and, and saying whatever verbiage you want them to say. It, it's just that simple. Um, it, and I, there's no reason why you would not do that. You can get somebody to create a video for you on Fiverr uh, saying whatever it is that you want to say for all of, they started from five bucks for those of you, the people that aren't very good. So you're probably gonna end up spending somewhere around $30 on average, but it's a video that will sit on YouTube forever, right? So I just went back to Fiverr and I just put in videos. I'm gonna go back to my YouTube channel, one of my YouTube channels, because I, I think I have five, five different channels. But the point is all these people on Fiverr here, they'll even create the drawing, which is a really popular thing right now. They'll create a drawing for you. And um, as you, you know, as the words are done, then you'll it'll be drawn out. And and look at the prices here. Uh, there are obviously the, the higher end people that are, you know, uh, $455, but $25 will probably get you a very nice video done. People on Fiverr, they're, they're able to do this for you. So let me go back to my stuff, to my YouTube videos. Um, for those of you who are online, and you can see this young lady, this very attractive young lady, she used to be on Fiverr. I think she grew uh, beyond Fiverr. She was one of Fiverr's top sellers and making a crap load of money. She did a really good amount of videos for me. She did voiceovers for me, and she did, as you see, in front of camera videos for me as well. And these are all about CPNs primarily that she did. But look at this, 102,000 views in five years. And this video, the key is that I put it up five years ago, and I get calls, I get at least um, a minimum of one, typically two to three calls, uh, a week on this video that was put up five years ago. And so what I'm gonna do with this video actually is I'm gonna later on today, or I'll just say before this week is out, I'm gonna remove my phone number from here. And the reason being is because I'm since I am moving away from the, the CPNs, I'm gonna, I, I've already bought an ebook, which really, the lady that I got it from, all she did, now this is very important, you guys. All she did was she went to the Social Security Administration, she did her due diligence, pulled down all the information that they had about getting a new Social Security number, and that was it. She turned it into a little crappy ebook, and it's very sloppily done, and then subsequently sells it for $97. How crazy is that, right? And so what I'm gonna simply do is I already have the material. I'm a, and, and the key is, is that because it's from a federal agency, that stuff is not copyrighted. You guys got, you gotta keep that in your head. When things come from a federal agency, it is not copyrighted. Get it? So that means you can take that information directly from a federal government website, put it into an ebook, and subsequently sell it. Because it's not copyrighted. They cannot copyright it because you as a citizen are paying taxes for that information. Does that make sense? And there is actually a government website. Um, I, I remember the email address. It used to be Pueblo 60609 or something like that. And you can actually probably Google that um, and it will give you like this uh, wealth of information on anything you can think of under the sun. How cool is that? If you want to know about like, like stocks, boop, you just go there. And, and it's, it's the Government Information um, Resource Center or something like that. 
but I, the the email I mean the mailing address used to be Pueblo Colorado 60609 or something of that nature and I I found it before online of several times but it, you know it takes me a second to google all that and I'm not going to do that right now because we're running out of time I hope that you guys are getting how simple it is for you to start your business okay so this this example here of this of this video for instance 102,000 um uh views since to you know since 2005 it doesn't take a lot it doesn't take a lot to make money so just think if i if i had 10 of these videos up because the person that i basically copied her information hers was very similar to this it says how to get a second social security number right all i did was i put in how to get a second with with the number two and then nd and then in parentheses i put the word second social security number you and all hers said was the same thing but i just added because they don't want you copying people's um titles exactly i just simply added the the, the number two and the letters nd for second and then in parentheses put second the, the actual word and the way she has it is just how to get a second social security number without the you know with the number you know that's it and so she has maybe double what i have now think about the simplicity of this when you put up a video this video retains a life on um youtube it's been there for five years, and over that five-year period of time, I still get calls from that video. I, I just don't know what else you can do um, that is this simple. Now, Instagram has also become a very powerful platform. So, as some of you have may have noticed, when I was in my Instagram, um, I don't have any. Um, post but the next time i show you my instagram uh, which will probably be several weeks from now i'm have a crap load of posts because instagram is truly one of the greatest marketing uh places right now facebook eh, still not so much but for me anyway for other people it's awesome and wonderful but i, I just want you to know i need you guys to get started um i, I don't give a crap if you have a brick or mortar brick and mortar business you need to start creating videos like this using the same keywords that you would use for your website right so once again if you're you're in the accounting business and you're in new york you want to create a website i don't care what your business name is because no one gives a crap so if your business name is you know uh jl uh booker Bocker accounting service no one gives a crap right that's not what people are searching for. They don't give a shit about JL Bookabacher accounting service. You know, people don't search in that way. You know, people search for, if you're in New York, right? If let's say you're specifically in one of the boroughs, you're in Manhattan, they're gonna put in accountants in Manhattan, Manhattan accounting services. That's how people search and that's how your domain name should be. Does that make sense to you guys? No one cares what your name is. Matters not. What matters everything is are you duplicating what people search? That's it. And then you need backup on that. Because that you gotta have backup on that. Meaning, if there are three, four different keywords that you can buy as domain names you can have them all forwarded to the same website. I wanna give you guys a quick example of that. So I'm gonna to go to one of my websites. Um, I'm gonna to go to creditprofilenumbers.com. As I mentioned earlier, I have a crap load of domains that link to this website. So this is my website credit. Some of you, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this before, but um, if you go here, I think to CPM pricing, 
you see this, it, it changes, right? Wait a second, let me see. It changes instead of from creditprofilenumbers.com, it changes to cpncreditprofilenumbers.com. And once again, I have a boatload of other domain names that reflect to this website or point, if, you know, technically speaking, point to this website, cpncreditprofilenumbers.com. And I know because people will call me on this 714 number, the 714482391 number. And so I know that they're coming from one of my other domains. I can't stress that enough. I'm not even marketing that business anymore, but I'm still getting sales. I still get people that call me from this 714 number, from this I number. And that's another thing that I want you guys to, to keep in mind is that, you know, you can use I number. It's not a, it's not a bad thing and it's a very inexpensive thing to use. So that's it. I, I hope that you guys have, have gotten something. I know I went through a lot, but watch the replay because you guys got to start a business and you got to start a business now. And if you already have a business, then you got to start, you know, kicking up your game. I, I, I want everybody on this call to create an extra $5,000. I don't give a crap if you're a vin, if in the vin, I have this guy um, who I'm very disappointed in right now, but he's in the vending machine business, right? And, and the thing is, even he in the vending machine business who can make his world so much easier if he created some simple little videos and started marketing himself in a different fashion instead of having to go knock on doors. I mean, you're going to have to do that in that type of industry, but when people in, in a specific area, you know, if they type in, they, they want that for their office space, they want someone, you know, like a, a new vendor, uh, somebody comes in, put the coffee and the candies and the, and, the, and the chips and the this and that, you know, if they were to Google, um, I don't even know what the term would be, but, but vending machines, Dallas, because he's in the Texas area. If they were to put vending machines, Dallas, and his stuff pop at the top, how much easier would that make his job, right? Because it's one less door that he's going to have to knock on. And as a matter of fact, if he were doing it right, then he wouldn't even have to knock on doors anymore, quite honestly, because offices are looking for those type of things. Offices are looking for, um, you know, people to come in and put a coffee machine, you know, in their lounge and all this other crap. So I'm just telling you guys, let's get started. Um, if you have specific questions, hit me up, right? I mean, I'm not gonna answer a bunch of stuff because you're not paying me for that. But if you wanna pay me, let's make it happen. I charge 250 an hour. Um, but get started, you guys. I, I've given you guys gold, right? Absolute gold, $5,000 before Christmas. That, that's, that, is your, that is your new mission in your business. I don't give a shit what you're making, but you're, you're gonna make an extra $5,000 because you're gonna take some of these very simple things and you're going to start them. Does anybody have any questions before we get off this call? Let me check the messages. Okay, so there's, there's a few different chats, which I thank you, thank you uh, for the people that are in the chat box. It's just a lot of um, thank you for the information, that type of thing. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm always appreciative of um, thank, thank yous that you guys get. So thank you, thank you for that. All right, this call is over. I hope you guys learned something. And uh, if it was too fast for you, go back and watch the replay. All right, that's it. Take care. Enjoyed you all coming on the call, as always. Take care.